So let's just lift our hands to the Lord before we get into our teaching today. Ha se mahaya shu mayandi standing in ishtamalama si. I visto the vishumana la visiving antola mashi kimane store meneshi the mai. I say the sovene me shi and the mai ke sovene me shi anando la mosai. Ishu vokosi viando standing in the stendale ma so. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Do you have that interpretation? This is the hour for us to open our hearts up and say, Lord, I want to participate. I want to be operating in the fullest. And so, Lord, open my eyes up tonight so that I might see these glorious truths and be fully manifesting that which you want done within me. For I desire to create Sufi Amaya Nantin, and I desire to co field you with the feast of Marendu Rabai. So come unto me and say, Bless Sufi Amahaya, and take me into the Via Hashia, and I will do the for Shuya mind. For I desire to use you, yes, you, those that feel as if you're not capable, that's just the person I'm looking for. For, for it's not your ability I'm looking for. I'm looking for yielded vessels that will allow my spirit to manifest through them. And so you're going to come into a greater place of grace. And you're going to come into a greater place of even seeking my face. For I am stirring up within you the hunger and the desire to know me deeply and intimately in a brand new place. So I would say unto you today, arise and shine and say yes and put action to those things that I am saying to you because I desire to use, like my servant said, each and every one of you in a great and mighty way. Thank you, Lord. Ha, 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 ha. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. You have anything else? Glory to God. Yeah, increasing. I'm increasing you in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. And the eyes of your understanding are being enlightened. And you're going to know what is the hope of your calling. And there's going to be some changes that I'm going to require of you. So when I begin to prompt you and say, I want you to make those changes, say, yes, Lord, not my will, but your will be done in my life. And as you yield to me and you make those adjustments and you make those changes, you will see some desires that you've had in your heart and in your mind come to pass. For haven't I said in my word, if you would be willing and obedient, you would eat the good of the land? So continue in me, says the Lord. Continue to allow me to work in you, both to will and to do of my good pleasure. Because I am arising in my church in this day and in this hour. And this is the day and this is the hour of my power. But I'm going to use chosen vessels of honor that are meet for the master's use, that have said yes to me in every area of their lives. So say yes to me, says the Lord, and anything that you lay down, I will give you back something else, something that is super abundantly above all you could ask, hope, dream, or desire. So when I say unto you, lay those things down, lay them down. And to some that are even here, you're going to have to lay some things down even at my feet because it's not going to be easy for you to let go of that which I am saying to you but lay it down at my feet and bow down before me and worship me and where there has been a weakness I will strengthen you with might by my spirit in your inner man and I will cause you to overcome the flesh and the desires of the flesh that have held you back 
So lay those things down. As I have said before, I will say it again. If you would give up the toys of the senses, I will give you the riches of my spirit. So just say yes to me. Say, yes, Lord, I lay this down at your feet. Even this weakness, even this thing, this weight that has so easily beset me, I lay this down at your feet. And as you lay that down at my feet, I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. For you see, my, my people, there is none righteous, no, not one. So one may be dealing with something over here, and another may be dealing with something over there. But to him that knows to do good and does it not to him, it is sin. So as I speak to you and say, come on, give it to me, come on, give in, just turn it over unto me and I will bless you exceedingly abundantly above all you could ask hope dream or desire I will not only bless you but I will bless your family I will bless those around you because the blessings are upon the willing and the obedient the blessings are upon those that have said yes to me the blessings are upon those who have given their all to me because it's one thing to say that I am your Savior, and it is another thing to say, Lord, you are my Lord. So make me Lord of every area of your life. Don't hold back. Don't hold on to that thing. You may not see it now, but up the road ahead, it will become more evident. That weight, if you don't let go of it now, will be a sin that will so easily beset you and eventually disqualify you from the calling that is upon your life. So I'm calling you today to that place of prayer, that place of repentance, that place that says, Lord, not my will, but your will be done in my life. That place that says, Lord, I give it all to you. I give it over to you. And to some, it may even be strife. You've walked in unforgiveness and you've held on to that thing long enough. Today, I want you to let go. And release the commensal begin so you men sangvorn. And release the official komotsa kavinsa me attention. And release that thing. Break that thing off of you and say, This is the day, Lord. I am giving it all to you. I have held on to this hurt long enough. I have held on to this thing long enough. I am like the woman that is bowed down and I can in no wise lift myself up because of this hurt and this burden but cast all of these things over upon me give me that burden give me that hurt release and let go that unforgiveness and you will see that you will be able to stand up I will strengthen the feeble knees and I will cause you to rise up and be healed, not just in your body, but in your soul. So I'm calling each and every one of you to a place of wholeness, for it's my desire that you walk in wholeness. Be whole, to be healed in every area of your life. And you will see that as you do and as you commit yourselves wholly unto me, I am going to do some great and mighty things in and through thee. So let's act on that. Close your eyes. <laughs> My God, my God, my God, create in us a clean heart. Renew a right spirit within us. I want you to use your spiritual imagination right now. And he's standing there. And I, he's come to you and he said, now it's time. Now give it to him. There it is. Thank you, Jesus. You can. You can. You can. Yes, you can. Do all things. Through Christ, who strengthens you. Areas of unforgiveness. 
say, I forgive. Let's say it together. I forgive that person. There you go. There's the grace.